Hey y'all, I am back with a brand new video. If you are a tribe, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Believe me, I have missed you. If you are new or this is your first time watching, then I am Trey. This is Trey Travel's YouTube channel and I have been gone for a little minute. I have to admit, I've been MIA, but if you're following Trey Travels on both Instagram and on Facebook, then you know exactly why. I moved. So I'm in a brand new city, brand new place, y'all, and I am still unpacking. Still unpacking. I have boxes, I have boxes everywhere. So today I wanted to come and do something completely different from what I normally do on the channel. And that is a little DIY travel inspired decor for my new place. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So for this project, I am making a black and white travel photo gallery. So you'll need a double picture 10 by 20 frame, a four by six, two five by sevens, four five by fives, an eight by 10, and another 10 by 20 with triple pictures. You'll also need a ruler or a measuring tape, command wall stickies, and a pencil. So this step is completely optional, but because I was searching for some budget frames, I ended up buying some white frames and one black one just because they were 60% off at Michael's. And I'm using some gold paint, spray paint that I had on hand to make them match the others. Um, it won't be a perfect match, but they will be gold. So that's what I went with. And with this, you just want to make sure you have something underneath to protect the ground or whatever you are spray painting. I use a trash bag, some newspaper, and a cardboard box that I had on hand. And I just begin spray painting. Um, you want to try to get some even strokes in. Spray as lightly as you can for the first layer. That's something that I didn't do, um, but it got better as I went on. And you just want to kind of go around the frame uh, the best you can, cover all the white, and get it as even as you possibly can. <laughs> While your frames are drying, you can go ahead and start the next step. So here you'll see I have the mat from the picture frames laying in the pattern that I want to hang them on the wall. And I just have some plain black and white prints from Walmart here. I think they were about 7 or $8 for all of them. That sweet brown from Dominican Republic. Um, that one is in Rotenburg, Germany. Nuck if you Buckingham Palace. That one is in Dominican Republic. That's Kushar, Louisiana. And that one is also from a mission trip in Haiti. 
That was my first mission trip to Haiti. Um, Point Udall in St. Croix. Ooh, Tanzania. And Paris, of course. That one, hometown, Nola. That one is in Zanzibar. And my first solo trip to BVI, the British Virgin Islands. So all of these pictures mean something to me and they are from my travels. So I wanted to hang them in my gallery. So here I'll just go ahead and start taping them to the back of the mat that matches. <laughs> Once your frames are dry and the mats and pictures are ready to go, you can go ahead and put the frames back together. Once you've put all of the pictures, mats, and framing back together, you can go ahead and flip them all over and begin putting your command wall stickies on the back of each one. I used about two for each except for the longer 10 by 20 frames. I used four for each of those. <laughs> gallery I wanted to have two rows of pictures that had a reflection look so I wanted them the top row to mirror the bottom row so before this frame I actually went in and drew two horizontal and parallel lines in the center of my wall which the top line will be the bottom of the first row and the second line will be the top of the second row if that makes sense so i'm going in and setting each picture each frame is about the width of the ruler apart from the next and this does not have to be perfect y'all of course mine is not um but you want it to look neat so you can use the ruler just to kind of get a good idea of how to space each one So the second row was a little bit more tricky because 
the sizing of the frames made it a little bit shorter than the top row. So you'll see me going in from the edge of the top row to measure it so it's almost centered at the second row, if that makes sense. You'll see it a little bit more as it goes on. So I'm going in with each frame and measuring from that second horizontal line where I want to place each one. And I'm just making small pencil marks, um, nothing too heavy, so that in case I mess up, I can erase it. And see, just when I thought I had it right, I had to go back in and try to fix those lines a little bit more. So it'll take some trial and error. And then once you get it the way you like, go ahead and just start hanging those frames. <laughs> And once you are done, you can just go back in and wipe off any fingerprints you may have gotten on a glass with a paper towel. And this is the final look, you guys. I love this gallery. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.